Hi and hello Pokemon Masters, welcome to another art video on where I'm continuing my series, the new Galar. In this case, I'm redoing all the designs of the Galar Pokemon. I made a pilot episode showing the beta designs for the redesigns and now I'm going back through them to address the problems that I have with these designs and remaking them as if I were to make them, which I currently am. So, of course, first of all, the Glord X is Grookey. If you guys want to see more of this, of course, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And, well, I don't know. If we get lots more subscribers once I'm done with Galar, I might move on to another region. Like, another region of your guys' choice. Like, Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, Sinnoh, Unova, Kalos, or Alola. Because those are the other regions besides, um... Besides Galar. Now, of course, we're going to start off with Grookey. Now, my base problem with Grookey is the fact that of its proportions and the fact it has a tail when its final evolution Rillaboom doesn't. So this is the base design sketching for it. Um, so I have reference images up of a spider monkey, which is where I'm going to get the proportions from. Grookey is based on a monkey called a squirrel monkey. Squirrel, of course, you know, like, squirrel it. Now, <clears throat> let us begin. Okay, so, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the core element. So, Grookey is a very cheerful Pokemon. It's also a grass-type monkey that loves music so first of all I'm going to just draw the aspect of it being some sort of a monkey. Also another problem I have with it is the fact that its ears look inflated instead of having a hole that goes in and that sort of that would really destroy the function of hearing because even if you had the organs in there it would still be quite hard to hear if there's no hole so I'm gonna make it quite obvious that there is one. Now of course first of all I'm not gonna do any grass type elements I'm just going to Start sketching out Grookey as if he was a normal type and sort of changing it where I feel like there would need to be a change. So I have absolutely no problem with his big snout here, despite it being quite small. It's a very small snout on the squirrel monkey. I think it just adds to the cuteness of Grookey itself. But of course, I'm not doing Grookey just now. I'm doing a squirrel monkey. Just, And then I'm going to take the core elements of Grookey, add them, and then change the things that I don't like about it. So, for example, all I'm going to do for the face here is a smile. Yeah, all I'm going to do for the face just now is a smile. And the nostrils. And then the rest of the face is a pretty, you know, iconic part of Gurky, the mask that he wears, which is based on, well, the sort of mask that a squirrel monkey has. So I'm just going to do the nostrils and then that'll be it just now. And then I'm going to add a pattern onto the nose. And then, boom. Okay, so that is the head so far. And then I'm going to do torso. Of course, the proportions, by the proportions, I meant mainly the fact that head is basically, you know, it's basically, you know, it's, it's huge. It's a huge head. So fix that there. Um, the other part of the proportions part was the limb proportions, so I'm not going to draw any limbs just now. Well, other than the head and the torso. Of course, the other problem is the fact that it has a tail when Rillaboom doesn't. And I know it sort of progresses through flat, wacky where the tail just starts to disappear to a plume of fluff and then just completely disappears on Rillaboom. That's not really how I want it to go. If it's not going to have a tail in its final stage, then it's not going to have a tail at all.
Then the next part I'm gonna do is I am going to add a pattern to Grimmy to Grookey's chest, which resembles that of the V that is on Thwackies. So I have to progress into that. Now I'm just going to thin down this part of the body. And here's the next part, which is now I'm moving on to the issues that I'm going to address. That's not how it works. So I'm keeping the fact that the feet has three toes. However, I'm going to change one of them to the thumb shape. That monkeys have the reason they have this is I'm pretty sure why their tails are you know able to wrap around trees it's probably because you know to grab onto branches and you can't really humans can't really grab onto branches with their feet because of the way it's made whereas if I don't know our feet were like hands you know like how monkeys feet look exactly like their hands they can just grab onto branches and that's how it works I'm going to shorten this down because it seems too long I will be doing this for for at least every Galar Pokemon, like on camera, unlike the last time. Also, there will be a video coming out on Monday, which is a collaboration with Lava Tyrant, and you will guy, and you will hear me reference this um this video here um sort of acting as if the video is going to come out after that monday video well this is because um lava tyrant scheduled it to monday and i didn't know so i had to go and schedule mine to monday before it finished publishing um so that's why just in case you're going to watch that video and be like wait a second but that video is already out Now, I'm just going to have a look at Squirrel Monkey. Because they look exactly like Grookey. They even have the orange hands and feet, which is cool. I know I added the thumbs there to sort of grab onto branches, but it's kind of useless uh, because his toes are small. But that's just how I've done them. I'm going to go ahead and redo this symbol here. That's how it's looking so far. Now for a first stage, they usually use rounder shapes. I just say that, so now I'm gonna redesign the logo again. Well, the sort of logo mark on his chest. 
That's why on my starter, the thun the grass starter, the thunderbolt shapes are rounded because they're supposed to be friendly. All Pokemon are supposed to seem like your friends, but you know, first stages even more. So they use soft shapes like circles and little to no points. There are of course some exceptions, like the fact that Grookey's hands are sort of pointy, um, so are his ears and his leaves. Point is, I'm getting into that because I'm changing the leaves to be sort of rounder. And then it seems like, um, uh, so the reason I'm making these leaves rounder is because there's a channel you should check out. A guy named Trainer Red, and he's kind of what inspired me to do this series because he's redesigning every Pokemon in Galar. Uh, he said that he's not gonna do the GMAX forms because he does because he doesn't feel like he can do them. But if you guys want to see him do the GMAX forms, then why don't you go over to his channel, Trainer Red? And say you can do it and support his series because so far he has three videos out he has leaked his redesign of Caterpie and Mega Venusaur um, and so far he's done all the stars anyway point is you uh, the leaves uh, are used to hold the stick yet how is the stick used because the, how is it holding in the leaves so what I'm gonna do here is a sort of little compartment that you can fit it in there you can just sort of slide the stick in there. Or it was originally going to be in there until I decided I'm going to have it that he's holding the stick. And then... Here are the arms here. Oh, yeah. I'm shaping them like spider monkey's arms, and not the animal, I mean the Benten alien. Which, yes, one of my inspirations for this is the animal spider monkey, and I decided, you know what, I'm gonna do the arms like the Benten alien. And I'm go and I'm going to sort of keep those pointy fingers, I'm just gonna round them off, so they're not exactly sharp. And then I'm going to add that round pattern here. I'm actually going to make these longer. Also guys, you should subscribe to Lava Tyrant, who I'm doing a collaboration with on Monday. As I said earlier, I've already recorded the video, and he's going to record a video as well. Um, the video is turning superheroes into fake on So, like, you know, superheroes like Batman, Captain America, you know, ones like those. Omni-Man, All Might, you know. Um... It's not any of those ones specifically. However, we are doing one superhero each. Whether it be, let's say, Okay, let's just say they're from two different universes. Both of these superheroes, they're from different universes. And I'll tell you one thing, there's no DC superheroes. I'll tell you that. They're from two different universes, none of them are DC. I'm just drawing the stick here. I'm 
Now I'm just sort of shaping the stick here to sort of at least be shaped like some sort of beater or sort of closely to what the sticks are shaped like in the normal roller boom. Camera's focused on the hand right yet. Yeah, yeah, it is. Let's see, um, once I'm done with this, so the pattern that I've added to the feet and hands, the fact that they're wavy, is to more closely resemble the squirrel monkey. <clears throat> so this is it so far. My Grookey redesign. The colours will be fairly the same, you know, because there are some other things that I have added, like the symbol here, and then there's that pattern that's on the nose. Now the nose will probably, that pattern on the nose there, that this top bit, that'll probably be the same colour as his torso, the main part of his head. And then this part here will be the same colour as his mask, which I am just going to do. Now, first of all, I'm going to start off with that point and I'm going to make it smaller. And the reason I'm making it smaller is to more closely resemble the squirrel monkey. And that's why I'm shaping it more like this instead of the rounded shape it has. Before I move on to the eyes, I am going to fix the, of course, address problem I have with the ears. The fact that they look inflated instead of having a hole inside of them. So I'm going to add that. It's simply, fi simply fixed by doing that. In order to do redesigns like this, I will be, as I said, going over like their personality, um, what their bases are. Like for example, um, with Impidimp, he's a naughty, so like he's very mischievous. He likes to steal things. He's quite naughty. He has a let's say dark personality. He sort of acts. He sort of acts like that, you know, sort of like. He doesn't act like the bully, he always acts like that kid who sort of, you know, wants attention but sort of annoys other people in doing so. And then he sort of becomes, you know, like, a loner and sort of, you know, goes down that dark path and ends up becoming, like, a monster himself. Um, you know, and that ends up becoming Grimmsnarl. You know, I'll be going over deep dives like that. Um... Also to the fact of what it might be based on, like the fact that Impidimp is based on the fact that in folklore they used to say that some babies were replaced by goblins that looked like babies and as they grew old, as human babies, and as they grew older the magic wore off, they turned into goblins. That's why he's sort of pink, which is close to the human skin tone, and he starts turning green and more hairy um, because he's based on that. And I'm talking about the Impidimp line. No. I don't know what they're all based on, like, who would know? Well, there's, like, people like Loxton or Birdkeeper Toby who sort of go over stuff like that, um, who probably would know, or, you know, but I'm going to find out. And I know quite a few of them are based on yokai, like Centiscorch and Copper Raja, they're based on yokai. Um, anyway, so, here we're going over to the eyes. And the eyes are basically going to be the same as the normal Grookey, except and they're going to be orange. So to sort of match Rillaboom's eyes better. Do 
you ever just get that feeling where you do one eye perfect and then you try to replicate it and it just sort of why with some of these redesigns i will be sticking with their original pose if not then i will uh, make up a different one or just use a different one Now making the sort of pupil, well the white pupil, sort of more roundish rather than the oval shape. And then there's this bit here, and then... Right, here we go guys, the first video in November, and November's nearly over! Wow! My first video in November, November's nearly over. Um. Uh, the pro I'm hoping the first video in December will be some sort of collaboration with the group. Um, or at least, like, I don't know, a video with Dean or Lava or Sante or Luna or Sneaky, which um, those are the official members of the group. If you guys have not yet, uh, you should subscribe. I will leave a link to it. I will leave a link to the group channel. Um, in the description below. I will also leave a link to Trainer Red's channel so you guys can check out that. And of course, guys, here's the redesigned Gurky, a part of the Nugular series. And I will see you again next time. Oh, goodbye. Insert a logo here because I don't have one.